A new Max for Life device from Ableton Drummer, not only for drummers, but for everyone who wants to use external MIDI hardware to toggle loops on and off in a drum rack. So uh, let me just quickly show you what I got here. I got only four loops in a drum rack um, in the simpler, so I'm just quickly going to play them to you. So just four loops which I can toggle on and off. So um, let us have a look at the device. We first have a root note. So this is setting um, all these notes starting from here. So this, these are going to be the notes which are going to be affected. Of course, you can put in different notes in here as well. But if you use it this way, you have like the whole octave from C1 to A sharp 1. So um, these are the first four notes which I set my Roland SPD as X2. So it's C1, C sharp 1, D1 and D sharp 1. So I have a minimum and maximum, um, you could say a threshold level for the incoming MIDI notes. So for example, if I want to eliminate cross talk or if I only want um, the C1, for example, to only react to if I'm hitting quite hard, I can set up the minimum velocity to 100. And now when I'm hitting here, nothing is happening because I have to um, step over the threshold of 100. And then it is reacting. This is the same for the second hit for uh, the toggle off hit as well. So let us put this down to around 40 again. So this is this section. The next section is I can um, say how hard or how how much velocity the send out node should have. So uh, this is set to fix per default. So I can set this um, lower. So this will affect the volume of the loop which is being played, or even quieter, or even much and very loud. So um, I can use my playing velocity here as well and it would show me always, even if it's not switched on, with, um, with what velocity I'm playing here. So if I set this to a note velocity, because maybe I want to play the loops volume, volume dynamically, I can do this um, just by um, toggle this one on. So now when I'm hitting quite low, it's a um, small volume or low volume. And if I'm hitting hard, I get a very um, big volume here. And I finally have a status um, button here, or not a button, but just a signal here as well. So if I am um, have the note on um, and the loop is on, it shows me the red um, bar here. So uh, this way I can put in uh, up to 128 samples in here and um, just toggle them on and off. Of course you can use a push here as well if you want to. Very important is that um, in the simpler, in the drum rack, um, you need to uh, set the loop to classic and uh, to loop. You need to switch off the snap and you need to set the attack down to zero, the decay down and the release as well. And this way you can just go and play. So um, have fun with this tool. It's for free. Just um, follow the link in the video description. And if you have uh, a few bucks for me, <laughs> I don't say no. If you want to donate a few bucks for this or at least um, tell people about this device and how they can use it and spread the word. Thank you.